Well, an, uh, an alternative to a police response. Today, the city of San Francisco is expanding a new crisis response team to the Bayview District. This is a team that is made up of mental health professionals, and they only respond to nonviolent reports of people in a mental health crisis. Earlier today, I talked to Supervisor Matt Haney about how the program has already worked so far. Right now, I think we have a crisis on our streets with a lot of people who have untreated mental illness, uh, who are experiencing drug addiction. And what we know is that the best thing for us to do is to get people who are actually healthcare professionals out there to make sure they can access treatment, to do crisis intervention, de-escalation. And before we had these teams, it was basically only the police or nothing else. And often the police, we know are not trained for this. It can lead to additional conflicts. And so having these teams out there as a way to get to people who are in crisis and help them and get them into treatment is obviously the right way to do it. Um, I think the challenge for us has always been, how do we get enough of them out there so that they can take enough of these calls and be there when people need them? Yeah, exactly, because I know that you guys were one of the first in your district, right, in the Tenderloin back in November to launch. Um, and there was another team in the Mission in Castro. Now this is the third team in the Bayview. I, I heard there were supposed to be six teams by now, but that hasn't happened. Do we know what the delay is and do we know you know, how are we going to get those teams deployed in the city? Well, the number of teams that are out there is, is really important because we need to know that if someone is in crisis, there's going to be somebody available. It's not something that can wait if there isn't a team available. Um, and so for us, we always felt maximum number of teams, starting with six, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, was essential because uh, if somebody is out there on the street and there's nobody that you can call except the police, and when you call the police, there's no one that they can call except for to send one of their own, then the system isn't going to work. Uh, they, this needs to be scalable. So what we've been told is that they only have two teams right now because they've had trouble hiring. Uh, they've had trouble scaling up. Uh, and I think, you know, that's, you know, incredibly frustrating. Obviously, the Department of Public Health and others have a lot going on right now. But uh, if you walk around San Francisco, it's, it's hard to put your finger on a bigger crisis than the number of folks who are out on our streets who are mentally ill, who are addicted to drugs, in some cases in their hospital clothes. Uh, we need to have a system that actually gets out there and responds to them in real time. Can you explain what it's been like so far, just in the tenderloin, what you've seen when it launched in November up until now, what's working, what's not working, and just give us an idea of like how many calls you guys average um, since you've started the program there. So we've had uh, about uh, 200 calls that have gone to this team in the Tenderloin. Um, that's 20% of the overall uh, call load of, for this particular category of behavioral health crisis, essentially, that the team is uh, responding to. And when they respond, I think that they do a good job. They are, have a combination of uh, uh, de-escalation and crisis intervention. They can enter people into treatment. Um, they know how to deal with folks who are in these sort of experiences. Obviously, we're avoiding potential you know, violent altercations that can take place. And so when they respond, I think that they are adding in a positive way and it is a model that uh, can work. Again, where we've fallen short is building out the level of capacity. One team in a place like the Tenderloin might not even cover a single block or two. Um, what we need is a, you know, at least six teams in the Tenderloin, right? And you walk down the street, you see people everywhere you look who need help and who could benefit from these sorts of re response mechanisms. They also are able to help deal with people who are experiencing homelessness because there's somebody who isn't part of the homeless outreach team with them. Um, mm -hmm. So I think an expansion is important. I think a way to call these teams directly is also critical. Uh, right now, you can call the police and say someone is having a behavioral health crisis, but you don't necessarily know as the person who's calling whether they're gonna send a police officer or uh, this street crisis response team. And again, that street crisis response team is being deployed today in the Bayview District with that team working from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m.